YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. Today I have a tutorial on how you can transfer your graphics or your photos onto canvas. No rubbing off the paper. This is so simple and so easy. So let's get started. Okay, I've just got a canvas from the dollar store. I've painted it with my brown homemade chalk paint and then I put a coat of my white homemade chalk paint on top. I find this works best with a chalk paint rather than a latex or an acrylic. Um, that's what I have the best results for. So the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to need some mailing sheet labels or CD labels. What you want is you want the paper that has the plastic backing um, underneath. That's what we're going to print on. You can find these sheets at the office supply store. I always find them in the thrift store because people don't use them that much anymore so they get donated and you can get them for a really reasonable price. And um, also what I like to do when I'm peeling off the labels, I don't like to waste them. So I have napkins and what I do is I'll just peel off the labels, I'll stick them onto the napkin and then I turn them into little gift tags. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all the labels off this carrier sheet. Make sure when you're loading into the printer, you're printing on the shiny side when you load it in. It's all printed out on the laser jet printer. Make sure you don't touch the lettering because you will rub it off. And you also have to remember that you have to reverse your text. This um, graphic is available in my Etsy store. If you want to try it, you can go over and grab it. Make sure you use the code SAVE50 so you can get 50% off all of the graphics in my store. Okay, now what we want to use is Mod Podge Matte. We're going to put a coat over the whole canvas everywhere that that carrier sheet is going to be. And you, want, you don't want it too thin. You want to coat that whole canvas all over now you're going to take your carrier sheet and you want to put it exactly where you want it you can't move it once you press it down so you want to center it really well and lay it right in that mod podge that looks pretty good and then you're just going to take your hands and then just rub it out really hard and nice and smooth. Get all the bubbles and all the wrinkles out. And then what you're going to do, set it aside, let it completely dry. We're not going to touch this until tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. While we're waiting for the canvas to dry, I thought I'd show you what I made with the labels. I made them into little gift tags. You can write a little message on the back. I punched a hole in the top, put a little bit of um, twine through them, and nothing wasted. Okay, it's the next day, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to um, transfer graphics onto canvas using this method. And you can see the paper, the transfer paper, is just lifting right off after that Mod Podge is completely dry. And this is the one trick with this, is you have to let it completely dry. And you can see as I'm pulling away, look at that graphic, completely a little bit of ink here that didn't transfer, but that's okay. It kind of gives it like a rustic kind of transfer. And I like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it with a polyacrylic sealer. Now you can seal this with Mod Podge if you like. My preferred method is the polyacrylic sealer water base. I like using a satin. You can use a gloss, whatever you prefer. I just find the Mod Podge using it as a top coat kind of goes a little bit cloudy and it's a little bit too thick for me. Um, that's why I like to use the polyacrylic sealer. And I'm just going to put a light coat over the whole canvas and that will seal it right in. And you are finished with your graphic transfer. This will also work on photos, photo transfer onto canvas. This process will also work on wood, um, on painted glass on canvas. So just kind of um, experiment with it and see what works for you. Now I have had success with my laser jet printer every time I do this. 
You can try it with an inkjet, but you have to be very mindful when you're printing off on that carrier sheet with an inkjet, the ink lays on top of it and it smears and runs really easy. So it's a kind of a tricky process with the inkjet. It can be done, but you'd probably wanna do a test one um, to see how your inkjet works. But if you have a laser jet printer, this is reliable every time. I hope today's video has been helpful and it's taught you how to transfer graphics or photos onto canvas really easy. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. And if you like this video, you'll probably like this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.